Moodle Course Backup As a teacher, it's useful to have a copy of our course that we can keep safe outside of Moodle, perhaps to reuse it in a different Moodle site, or to add to our personal Moodle Cloud site to continue developing it, or even to give a copy to a colleague. Moodle calls this copy a backup, and to make a backup of our course we go to Course Navigation, More, click Course Reuse and select Backup. When we click the link Backup we need to follow the instructions to decide what exactly we want to bring over with our copy of the course. And note that if you're an experienced Moodler you can jump to the final step if you know what you're doing. But for us beginners, the first thing to understand is that there are X's next to enrolled users and user information. This means that because we are teachers and for security reasons, we can only back up the actual course content, resources and activities. We can't back up the data that our learners have included. If you need to have a course with all of your learner data, then your admin must back it up for you. We basically want to include everything else, and so we scroll down and click Next. On the next screen we're presented with a list of all our activities and resources, and we need to decide which ones we want to keep. By default all of them are selected, so for instance if I didn't want to include an item, I could untick that box. And again, we scroll down, and once we've decided which activities we want to include and leave out, we click the Next button. We prompted to check all of our settings. Our backup course has been given a file name, which we can rename if we want, or leave it as it is. Then we scroll down to make sure that all the settings and included activities are the ones we want. If we made a mistake, we can simply go back to the previous screen and change it. Now it's time to click the button to perform the backup. We get a message that the backup file was successfully created, and clicking the Continue button will take us to where we can get a copy of this backup file to download it and save it offline. But remember, you can only open this course on another Moodle site, not on your computer.